Good evening and welcome to Sports Live on the Saturday. Let's take a look at what's making news in your world of sport. And starting off, Hamish Lovemore and Tyron Moher closed out victory in the 240-kilometer Berg River Canoe Marathon by winning the final stage of the four-day race, with 19-year-old Lovemore becoming the youngest winner of the 50-year-old race. Lovemore and Meyer were thrown a lifeline when defending champions Graham Solomon and Adrian Boros had a mishap after the second stage when Boros had to retire after illness. Since then the two Durbanites who are trained by the legendary Lee McGregor and his Mac squad dominated the race and proved worthy winners. They finished in a combined time of 16 hours and 27 minutes. Simon van Geesen and Paul Maria finished in second place, six minutes adrift. Alan Houston and Stuart Little finished third. It's a dream, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we had a tough first two days, and the last, uh, yeah, I got a bit sick overnight after the second night. But yeah, we bounced back nicely and super stoked to be our first. Two months ago, Amish asked me to do the berg with him, and I uh, gladly accepted. We always uh, hoped he would win, but uh, realistically, we're hoping for the podium. Um, so yeah, to win, it's. It's amazing, we, we're so stoked. It's a big shout out to Lee McGregor and the Max Squad uh, for all the hard yards and the training. Um, it's obviously paid off, so thanks coach and the squad. The Berg was a bit easier to paddle this year after the good soaking rains, but it is still one of the toughest ultra canoe marathons in the world. There are no losers in this race, only winners who share in the camaraderie of this historic race. Gil van Deventer finished his 49th Berg and the evergreen 80-year-old Janimal Herber. Craig Marie, SAB.